The Air Plus has a simple, handle-operated, one-handed fold, self-stands when folded, and has a stretchy shoulder strap for easier carrying. The folded dimensions are within the IATA's guidelines for cabin luggage. Folding the model is delightfully simple versus what can sometimes be seen on Boogaboo strollers, both in terms of how it's accomplished as well as with the actual mechanics. When it comes to carrying, the model has a shoulder strap in addition to the footrest handle, and though the strap is a bit short in my opinion, and the folded package is also a little on the bulky side to carry this way for long periods, at least versus the yo-yo for example, it's still doable and can be a convenient feature to have during travel. The Influencer's Fold is one of its main selling features, involving a single, handle-located action to essentially set a process in motion whereby the stroller folds itself. Once folded, the Influencer is both light and small for packing and carrying, and while it doesn't have a shoulder strap, the bumper bar has been positioned to use as a handle. Folding the model is easy, can be accomplished with one hand, and the process feels quite sturdy in terms of the mechanisms, which is nice and something that can definitely not be said of all strollers of this size. When folded down, the Minu V2 is pretty bulky versus other Ultra Compacts, and though it has both a handle and a shoulder strap, it's not the sort of stroller that you'll want to have to carry around for long periods, slung from your shoulder. The folded dimensions of the Minu V2 are unfortunately not within the IATA's guidelines for cabin luggage. When it comes to folding and carrying, the TRVL has one of these newfangled auto folds that we've seen on a few models at this point, and which, while I don't find such a system necessary exactly, it is quite cool looking and tactilely pleasant to use. When folded, the TRVL is comfortable enough to carry by the bumper bar, feeling definitely light for its size, though the shoulder strap is a bit too large to really be usable, at least by me, and the rings that hold the strap to the chassis also seem a bit fragile for long-term use anyway. The folded size of the model is decent for packing in the trunk or storing away at home, but it is well above the IATA's guidelines for cabin luggage, making it not necessarily the best choice for air travel. Newbie 2 auto folds, meaning that depressing the handle buttons and giving it a little push are all that's needed for the stroller to fold down on its own, which is quite convenient of course, though I would note that the standing fold is not always immediately stable, and you may need to keep a hand available to catch it. When folded, the bumper bar doubles as a handle for carrying the model, and the Newbie 2 is quite compact for fitting in a car trunk, though its folded dimensions are a bit too large for the IATA's cabin luggage requirements, meaning that it's unlikely to be accepted as such by a lot of airlines. The goodies fold, which I'll admit is pretty nifty, especially since you don't need to adjust the seat back or the canopy before setting it in motion, but in general, please note that it's not like competing models without this feature are exactly difficult to fold down, and thus, in my opinion, it's important not to let this be your sole reason for purchasing the goodie. The Orfeo feels a bit stiff right out of the box in my opinion, but past experience with this sort of folding system leads me to believe that this won't stay this way. And overall, folding is actually quite easy, being essentially one step, accomplishable with one hand, and producing a folded package that is self-standing, small enough to fit within the IATA's guidelines for cabin luggage, and even has a reasonably comfortable shoulder strap for carrying. And the only real peeve that I have with folding the model then is a somewhat tedious need to Velcro up the back of the seat. The key problem comes with the folding of the click, which not only involves a two-step process for unfolding, both the safety latch and the handle-located release mechanisms, but also, right out of the box, often fails to lock upright on one or both sides on the first go. Folding down is a little easier, though it's important to note that the canopy must be extended or it will get in the way of the handle. Once you have the model folded down, the click is both compact and light enough for carrying and easy storage, and also includes a shoulder strap. Right out of the box, folding the model is a pleasantly easy process, though I'd note that the buttons responsible for the fold are quite loose as the model comes stock, before sustaining any wear. And, combined with somewhat weaker joints and hinges, I suspect that the model may suffer from alignment issues down the road, which may make folding fiddly. When folded, the Parcells bumper bar doubles as a carry handle, and the model's quite light and compact, which makes it convenient for use with a car.